Ding means their vehicle can start moving, and it's done! For this assignment, we asked students to build a small, robotic, self-controlling vehicle. An autonomous vehicle would be a vehicle that has no human intervention in it, so it's pretty much controlled by a microcontroller that's set up in the middle of the vehicle, and it's got sensors at the front. The vehicle has to be able to avoid certain obstacles, be able to go up hills and down hills, not fall off the track, not hit the sides of the track, and complete these challenges both accurately in terms of distance and as fast as possible. As soon as we press the power button, we're not allowed to touch it after again during the competition. I'm always excited with this competition. It's always interesting to see the designs the students have come up with and the creativity. Our vehicle both looks different and was made different because we machined everything instead of 3D printing. We 3D printed a lot of our parts and they turned out to be a lot more difficult to use on the project. So about three days ago, we had to completely redo our entire gear train. It was quite stressful and it was really challenging. This is a very different experience for students than doing homework or sitting in a classroom. It's hands-on, it's engaging, and it's a project for which they take ownership. It's been really fun to see all these different things that we learned at the beginning of the year put together. One thing I learned through this project is uh, working with a team and, and the difficulty and challenges that come with that. There's so much action on the competition day. The students are motivated, they're engaged. Our vehicle isn't very great at everything that's got climbing hills because our gear ratio is too low, but I think that everything that has to do with the sensors on the edges of the track, I think that will be great because it's really good that way. It's been programmed quite well. I think that speed-wise, we might be one of the best vehicles today. Coming into the competition, my team and I were very nervous about certain aspects of our vehicle. The gearbox I created, the drive, was perfect. We're a little shaky in the computer programming and the implementation of the autonomous part of our vehicle. This technology is applicable for any environment where it's dangerous or difficult to have humans. So it could be used for things like mine reconnaissance, for exploration, for rescue. The Mars rover is a great example of this technology in use. I think that we've already won in a way. Regardless of how the vehicle will do today, we've learned so much and we've grown so much. It's been fun. They would like some applause. It's exciting to be able to push your brain to that limit.